Hello, everyone, and welcome to the School of Radiance podcast. I'm your host, a humble human on a mission, here to help you achieve and receive the best hair, skin, nails of your life, and of course, look and feel your most radiant. In today's episode, we are discussing all things related to saunaing and detoxification through the largest organ of the body, which is the skin. With Connie Zach, she is the co-owner of Sunlighten, the global leader in infrared light therapy and infrared sauna manufacturing. After seeing how spending time in an infrared sauna transformed her brother's traumatic health issues, Connie and her husband committed everything they had to helping others through the benefits of nature's healing infrared light. They've now spent more than 23 years bringing light, hope, and happiness to people around the world with locations in 13 countries, as well as operating an award-winning day spa at its headquarters location in Kansas City. Sunlighten delivers its promise to help people feel better so they can do more of what they love and live fully through a caring approach that drives innovation, investment, and relationships. Prior to Sunlighten, Connie held positions at Procter & Gamble, ranging from alternative marketing manager, district pharmaceutical sales manager, and gastrointestinal national manager. During that time, she successfully joined the P&G Leadership Coach Group, a collection of elite staff groomed for future executive positions. Being a minority in her field with very few women in managerial roles, Connie made a commitment to herself that when she received promotions, she would reach back and pull other women through the organization. Subsequently, Connie served as a member of the P&G Women's Board, a mentoring program for junior level female staff. And of course, you can find out more of of Sunlighten's products. And I also have Sunlight on my favorite biohacking page over at theschoolofradiance.com slash biohacking. And of course, sunlighten.com. Welcome, Connie. Great to have you on the show. How are you today? I am wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here and I'm so excited to to chat with you today and um, discuss all things Radiance. Absolutely. Well, let's kick things off with Radiance. You have been to events, you've been in the corporate world, you've been in the health world. And I'm curious, Mm -hmm. what is Radiance to you, Connie? Radiance to me is an inner feeling. Um, It is how you feel inside. And I I feel when I am the happiest inside with like, you know, my body and my mind and my spirit and holistically and, and at peace and confident and loving myself in the most beautiful way, then that is when I'm the most radiant outside. I never focus on the radiance outside as much as I start with, um, with inside how I, how I feel deeply. I'm curious, have you been able to see differences in people's skin, the way they look, their hair, skin, nails, their mental acuity, comparing those who use saunas a couple of times a week compared to those who don't? Well, I definitely, when you ask me that question, it reminds me of, oh my, how many years ago that was? It was just say 10 years ago, I did this own personal study downstairs. I say downstairs because we have our day spa downstairs and I wanted to learn um, directly from our customers about their experiences. I wanted to ask some questions after they came out. And so I did go on my own thing. I spent a whole week down there. And um, every single person, the common thread was they were glowing so much. And like their skin just was, you know, it just looked younger. And um, they also felt like they were glowing, you know, if that makes any sense. Um, we have a theme at Sunlight and this purify the body and the skin will follow. And so um, part of our, our technology purifies, you know, the, the body through detoxification. And then you're also, your, you know, your skin looks so much healthier. And so I'm not sure there are very, um, there's clinical trials, right? Comparing one, somebody who uses infrared versus somebody who doesn't, but I can speak 100% confidence, those who do 
um, consistently use infrared saunas have a different glow and a different, uh, their, their skin is um, definitely more youthful appearance and they have a just different glow about them. And again, back to your radiance, my answer to the radiance question, they also feel really good inside. We can talk about, you know, why they do, because there's, there's some actual, you know, reasons clinically, um, but that feeling just exudes radiance and it exudes beauty, you know, from the inside out. Absolutely. I recently published an article, a medical journal article titled Oxidative Stress Status and its Impacts on Skin Aging. You can read this article. It's open source over at the school of radiance.com. And I highlighted the fact that in order to get great skin, we need to reduce oxidative stress. And from our environment, we accumulate toxins through air, water, lighting, and electromagnetics, as well as pathogens. So to support how does saunaing and detoxing support healthy skin, radiance, and slowing aging, well, that's going to be through simple detoxification. The lower someone's oxidative stress status is, the better able, the largest organ of the body can function. And there's a massive connection between the brain and the skin because they actually come from the same neural line in utero. I would love to get a little bit extra scientific here. So for those tuning in that might not know the differences between sunlight and other saunas, sunlight is unique for a few reasons. Uh, I'm already aware of this, but I would love for you to highlight these two. And what makes sunlight different from other saunas? And what are some of the things that consumers who are thinking of getting a sauna need to know about in regards to common manufacturing processes of saunas? Yeah, um, let's talk about that. So at first, that's a complex question. So let me first start with infrared sunlight. And um, we'll start like kind of generically with infrared versus traditional, and then we'll we'll hone in on sunlight and infrared and what makes that unique and special as well. So infrared is a category, which we started over 25 years ago. There's really three big differences between infrared and, and traditional. First is heat, the way that heat is delivered. So infrared heat is delivered directly into the body. It heats the body itself. So you get hot because your body is warmed from the wavelengths. Traditional heats the air and you're hot because the air is hot. So that's the just most fundamental difference. There's lots of other ones, but that's really fundamental as far as heat. The second, which is super, super exciting. A lot of people don't talk about, people talk about heat a lot, but, but we're really trying to get this shift out there to get people to talk about light and the importance of light energy into your body. And so infrared is also light. And our bodies, as you know, I mean, are designed as solar panels, right? Like we have to receive light in order to activate our, our mitochondria, our, our water. I mean, water and mitochondria together account for 70% of the cells and they absorb infrared light. And so 70% of your cells need infrared light to activate the biochemical pathways that affect every organ in your body. So it's, an, it's, an, it's not a want to have, it's a must have, right? I mean, it's really, really super, super important. And that's something you get directly from energy that you don't get from just hot air. Uh, and then the third is, um, which just gets kind of depth, it gets deep. So I probably, probably won't go really super deep into the spectrum, but infrared is, is more complex than, than traditional heat because it has three different parts to it. It's a spectrum of light. There's far infrared, there's mid, and there's near, which is the invisible um, part of the spectrum. And then there's also, which we, we should talk a lot about, there's also red light, which is the visible part. And sunlight has the ability to deliver independently as well as in combination, all four parts, far, mid, near, and red in one place. So it's, it's a unicorn. There's, you know, there's this glitter all over, <laughs> you know, virtually in, in, in the impulse because there's nothing else like it. So that's also... That described how infrared is different than traditional, and we'll start there with one of the first ways that Sunlight is special, different than other infrared companies, is the fact that we have impulse, uh, which is the four different wavelengths. That's one. 
really the most important difference with Sunlighten's infrared and, and other infrareds out there is, you know, I just was talking to Dr. Axe and he gave the best analogy that I'm going to steal from him. So Dr. Axe, if you're listening, if this is all your analogy and I loved it, that I'm using it again. So he talked about when I was describing our infrared, he said, you know, what? it reminds me of um, turmeric and blueberries and how people think that all blueberries and, and turmeric are all the same. But reality is they're not all the same. And there's that it all depends on how they're absorbed and you know whether they're organic and um, if they're really truly nutrient dense. And so what we know for sure about sunlight and because we, we developed a technology and we patented it is we have the most to use that, that those words. We have the most you know nutrient dense, most infrared dense product on the market. We have a patent on 99% absorption into the body. So we have gotten rid of we're like a, we're like the best supplement that doesn't have any fillers. You know, it's just has 99% of the active ingredient that's being absorbed into the body. So a lot of other infrareds, the way they develop the materials, the heaters, it's not all infrared. You're getting, you know, some of the other parts of the, the light spectrum. And for detox, since, since we're really talking about radiance and how so much of the radiance comes from cleansing the body and just getting rid of that toxic load, allowing your skin to be the most beautiful um, possible, you, you need to have as the highest quantity and the highest quality of infrared into the body. And that's really our, if there's one thing, you know, I would, uh, well, I wouldn't forego all four wavelengths because it's pretty special, but I mean, I, I, that's the most important thing I would want somebody to remember is you're getting the most infrared dense um, product, whether you get our solo, which is a very affordable, portable unit that you can lie down and you can carry into lots of different rooms. It's, it's extremely easy to use and affordable. Um, or we have three other brands. We have a signature that's far and friendly cabin. We have Amplify that's far and friend plus full spectrum. And then we have the unicorn impulse with red, mid, near, and far. Love so that. those are all the ways that, I mean, it's, it's, it's complex, right? It's a lot. But I mean, we've been doing this. Rachel, I mean, we started this, you know, 20 plus years ago and, you know, we, we really pioneered this category. And when we started, we didn't know, we didn't know, you know, what I knew for sure was there wasn't enough information out there. There wasn't enough scientific support. So we had to go out and, you know, start digging and start bringing the scientific support to, you know, to everyone and then just day by day, piece by piece, wavelength by wavelength, you know, working with really incredible, smart people, you know, like Dr. Michael Hamlin, who's on our medical advisory board, and Dr. Harry Whelan, and Dr. Paracone, um, who, you know, helped us so much with understanding the wavelength of the invisible um, near infrared and the power of helping the skin, you know, um, so we just have you know, one day at a time, just keep keep bringing forth the most um, cutting edge products, technology, resources, and tools to really completely provide a whole complete body hack to um, you know improve your quality of life and and how you look and feel. I love it. One of the other things in my research of Sunlighten is there's actually ten main sauna manufacturers in the world. Um, so I've heard in regards to infrared types of saunas, and a lot of them are using adhesives. So what happens, and my wood chair behind below me just creaked a little bit. So what <laughs> happens with adhesives is they get they get heated up when the sauna gets turned on, and then you're getting exposure to all these gases and you know VOCs and things like that. So that's one of the things I really like about sa sunlight and saunas is that everything is snap together and quite easy to put together. I will share with everyone tuning in that uh, about a year or so ago, I moved out of a moldy home. However, mm -hmm. before getting my lab results back, I had moved and my body just wanted to be in the sauna every day and actually twice a day. And then I received my results back. It's like, wow, okay. My body was telling me so sometimes when you get those insights or little intuitive hits, okay, time to do that sauna, time to do that cold plunge, time to get outside and ground, you really can start to listen to what your body is craving. 
Mm-hmm. So I, I absolutely love the sunlight and saunas. They're, they're beautiful. They're very well made and they're a pleasure to be in. And I've spent many years in sunlight and saunas and I love them. Now, one of the things I also wanted to discuss is how do we actually go about saunaing effectively? What's some of the research? So commonly asked questions I receive from my beautiful clients are how many times a week and for how long and at what temperatures? Yeah, so you can um, do it, you know, I mean, you can do it every day if you want, but most people do two to three times a week. If it's your first time, let's say it's always best to start slow and to work up um, because it is, I mean, you're, these are powerful wavelengths with lots of science behind them and very potent anti-inflammatory benefits, potent detoxification benefits, potent anti-aging. So there's a lot that's going on, you know, inside your cells. And so you, you, you want to, to, start slow and work up to it and see how your body responds. So 20 minutes is a good starting place. Once you become acclimated, then, I mean, I love to do it 40 to 45 minutes. There's different programs in um, the Impulse, for example, and they range between 30 and 45 minutes, depending on the goal that um, you're you're looking to achieve. Uh, as far as so you asked how many days a week, so two to three, um, 20 minutes start off and then work up to 40 to 45. Always, always hydrate is really the most important thing um, that I want to say. And then as far as getting in, let's talk about that for a second, because this is, you know, Dr. Hamblin's message to me. He was the expert on infrared. And, and so infrared, far infrared specifically, is the longest when you first activate it. And the ideal for detoxification and for getting the most efficient and the effective uh, therapeutic session is to get in as soon as you turn it on. Because that wavelength is gonna be super smooth and super long, which is gonna be much easier absorbed into the body to start activating you know, your mitochondria, to start working with your with, um, water molecules and to start transforming your cells. So that's ideal. Some people, don't want to do that because they want to get, they want to feel a a hotter environment. And that's fine too. Ultimately, this is about creating this healthy habit that's part of your life that you can't imagine not having it in your life. You know, like, you know, for sure on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I wake up and these are my sauna time. This is my happy place. And so however you, I mean, you can do it anyway, and you're still going to get lots of benefits. Um, but, you know, I, I feel compelled to share the optimal, um, knowing that if if you're going to feel like I want it to be hotter and you're not going to enjoy your experience as much, then then don't worry about it. Then, you know, use the app, turn it on and get in, yeah, you know, in 15, 20 minutes. It's up to you. Love that. Thank you for providing some clarity on that. It's really important to shower as soon as you get out of the sauna because saunas like sunlight and products, they pull more toxins out compared to other types of dry saunas. Really important to shower all of that off immediately. Personally, I love cold in the AM and warm in the PM. I just find I sleep better. That's my personal preference. However, there have been many times where I've saunaed first thing in the morning, in the AM rather. Don't like to say the morning. We don't want to mourn the mornings. And that's where I have my am meditation right if you can position your sauna actually looking out to a window this is great so you can be in the sauna take in the sights of nature and scenery around you as well so that's one of the big differences between some of the drier saunas and also sunlight and using infrared and the different light frequencies that it actually pulls out more toxins from the body and there's oodles of research on this I'm really curious though, because we know that the brain and skin are connected. If your brain is scrambled, you know, it's not going to be sending signals to the rest of your organs to tell them to behave optimally. So if there's brain issues, there's going to be skin issues. What is the research on the technology behind sunlight and saunas on the brain and the skin? 
Yeah, so there's great science on, well, with both. So first we'll talk about the brain and there's lots of research on, well, both far infrared and near and um, red, but let's, for a second, let's just talk about near and red. So near infrared and red light, because that's also known as photobiomodulation. And you can look it up yourself and, and check out all of the science on um, PBM for treating brain related conditions. So um, there's research on dementia and Alzheimer's and depression, and essentially saying that those light, powerful light therapies help to activate you know, the brain neurons and um, they help essentially kind of what I call unlock areas that are stuck that are preventing the brain from working effectively. And now, as far as far infrared, far infrared um, works for on the detoxification level. And so for the brain, it's really helpful when you're, you know, removing toxins and helping increase blood flow. Now you're increasing the oxygen to the brain and you're, you're improving the overall function of your body. So having all of that together is, is a, I mean, they're just really, isn't like really a, just a better combination of a, a, a brain hack tool that is safe and easy to use in the comfort of your own home. So that's the brain on the skin level. Gosh, I love talking about the skin with our products because we help the skin at so many different levels. So the farm for we talked about is excellent at removing the toxic elements, right? So again, purifying the, you know, the body and the skin will follow. So you're, you're, you look so radiant because you are lighter and you're getting these heavy metals and these toxic um, materials out of your body. And then when you have the near infrared and the red light, those are going to help at the surface. So those are pen those penetrate, um, especially in the with two, first two centimeters of penetration into the skin. Talk about reducing oxidative stress. I mean, the two together, the data showing how there's so much more effective working together to reduce oxidative stress, to help stimulate the mitochondrial function, to help increase collagen and elastin, to help with fine lines and wrinkles, wound healing. I mean, there's so much data on, on the benefits um, of, of skin. And then also I want to mention one more thing back to far infrared. Sorry, I'm bouncing over, but this is really power. This is really important that far infrared um, scientifically has been shown to help with anti-aging by inducing a gene that helps um, to, to benefit anti-aging and increased longevity. So that's, um, we don't have to get into which gene and all the science, but it's really a potent um, benefit as far as with anti-inflammatory and anti-aging. So, um, I mean, inflammation, as you know, is, 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 you know, the culprit when it comes to, to aging and making the skin, you know, look tired and, and, and older. So lots of science, um, you know, supporting both brain and skin with all the different wavelengths um, of the infrared spectrum. Absolutely. Yes. The, the term that is best suited for this occasion is inflammaging, right? If we are inflamed, we're going to age faster. What creates aging at an accelerated rate? Oxidative stress. Stress in the body, mind, spirit, energy. Stress is coming from air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, and pathogens. Now, one of the questions I receive all the time is, do you have to take your makeup off before saunaing? Personally, if I'm saunaing in the PM, I will actually wash my face when I do my rinse off in the shower after saunaing. But that being said, the skincare that I work with, that you can find on my skin shop, the makeup, it's fine to sweat with and then rinse off, but you absolutely want to be washing the face afterwards. And one of the other things that I love to do in the sauna is to do gua sha, whether it's on the body to support lymphatic drainage, open up those drainage pathways. When we think about detoxification, it's like removing the furniture in the house first 
before taking apart the walls to remove moldy drywall, the electrical, the plumbing, all of that. So that's why when you're looking at detoxing with the saunaing, you also want to be looking at other toxins in your environment through air, water, lighting, electromagnetic mitigation as well. And then doing them all together and in tandem is really helpful because sometimes when people are going through detoxification, they can go through a process called Herxheimer's reaction. And I've experienced this myself doing, doing a detox and in my research, antioxidants and things like that can really help. So it's looking at detoxing on every level, not just, you know, purchasing a sauna and thinking that it's going to be your, your magical band-aid for a situation when really you also have to get to the root cause as well. So doing that foundational oxidative stress reduction and the detoxification so that your body isn't fighting toxins all the time, it's actually mm -hmm. able to take care of the, the tougher things that are running behind the scenes, like pesticides, like heavy metals, like mold, and all these other things. So I just wanted to mention that what should people be looking at when they're considering purchasing a sauna? On the show here, I'm all about helping everyone become more conscious consumers. What are some of the considerations that people should be making? Yeah, well, well, first I would say, I mean, I've always said since the beginning of time, since we started this, is we at Sunlight would want you to get the most effective at the, you know, the, the lowest price. So if, tell us what's important to you. So first figure out, because we have lots of options and um, I mean, we have lots of options. So we don't want you to get something that is more than you need, right? You, um, so first figure out, okay, is it detox, for example? You know, is my number one goal is detoxification. That's what I want to accomplish. And I love the sound of, you know, some of these other benefits, um, you know, but I really don't want to go there right now. And I just want detail. Okay, great. Then we can hone in. We can say, you do you want to, you know, to do it by yourself? Or, or do you want to have the ability to do it with significant other? And so you can get the, your, um, the solo or you can get the signature and, um, and we can help with that. If you want more spectrums of the infrared, then we, we have, you know, we have those options as well. So first identify, will it really truly what's most important to you so that we can help guide you to the right place. So that's the first thing. Other things that people should look for just generically into the industry is, you know, the te like technology is really, you know, like I said, at the very beginning, this is so important, um, is not all infrared is the same. I mean, infrared is not going to be absorbed the same if you buy from Sunlight or if you buy, you know, from another company that doesn't have the, the patents or the data or have it tested. I mean, we went to extensive testing with all of our materials to make sure we got the highest absorption possible. So you, it's peace of mind. I mean, for me, I'm so busy and everybody it seems like today is just so overcommitted and overbooked. I don't wanna have to be thinking, am I wasting my time in here? Is this really doing everything that, you know, Rachel said it's doing? You know, here's the, here's the good news is we've done all the research you know, we've, we've harnessed, we've taken the sun's power, you know, we brought it all inside and left all of the harmful things, you know, out. And so every minute that you spend inside there is a minute forward, you know, towards healing yourself, whether it's, you know, body, mind, spirit, meditation, healing energy from the light, from the heat. Um, and so, you know, you want to investigate the the quantity of infrared. You want to in investigate the quality of infrared. You want to investigate the quality of the cabin. Like Rachel was talking about, you were talking about um, the materials that they use, you know, the, the um, I mean, there's all sorts of uh, things to consider. We go through test after test after test, every single part in our sauna is, is tested. Then we have a third party come in, test our sauna for EMF, test the sauna for the materials, test the sauna for toxins. All that information is published on our website so that we showcase that so people want to know. Um, and then you should, let's see, we got went through, um, you know, those are the main things, you know, um, safety, effectiveness, quality. I think years in service is, you know, it does matter a bit just because 
you know, you, 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 if you're new, you just don't know what you don't know. I know. Cause I, you know, was there 20 some years ago. Um, and you know, accessibility, you know, are they able to reach the, the you know, the company, um, you know, your customer care, uh, those are some of the things. And, and here's what, here's what's really important to me when somebody's looking. So I'm going to share this because as we talked about at the beginning of the show, you know, as far as letting yourself be intuitive and, and allowing yourself to, you know, have a healthy body so that your body, mind, and spirit can all receive, um, you know, information when it's right. And my intuition is telling me that, you know, I should provide, you know, my contact information. If somebody is doing research and you are confused because it, it's, you know, it's the internet. You can find anything you want to know. You can find the answer <laughs> to anything. It may not be the right answer. It may not be the correct answer, but you can find information. You know, I've been doing this a very, very long time and I know, um, you know, the pitfalls and everything. So my email is czak at sunlighten.com. And if you have a question that where you're just really confused and I mean, it's a safe place, no judgment, you know, I will just answer it and, and just, you know, you may want to be a little patient with me um, but as far as get the response time. But I, you can more than, I'm more than happy to answer anybody's questions. And your team members are great. Uh, yes, so we have a time, fantastic team. Yeah, when you're going to order a sunlight and hop on a call with a team member, they'll help figure out which options are going to best suit your needs, desires, space, electrical, all of that. I'm really happy that you mentioned the quality with frequency. So coming from the skin and rejuvenation world, there are many different lasers on the market some are much better than others based on manufacturing frequency how it's actually applied the pre and post care that goes into that and then there's also this component of red light because i know that red light has now been incorporated in sunlight and which is fantastic so here we go you've probably all seen those gimmicky red light gadgets did you know that a lot of those lower quality red lights out there are actually an LED with red film over top of it? You have to be very conscious and know the people behind the company when you're looking at investing in some of these technologies. And, you know, Sunlight has been the, the cool kid on the block for a very long time. They got their ducks in a row, constantly innovating and actually have a great idea in the future on how to make the sauna even better. So I'll stay tuned for that one. Uh, you also touched on hydration. I love being in the sauna. This is actually when I do something called water loading and actually water load with superfoods and adaptogens. Mm -hmm. And I do love to use the Organifi products with their glyphosate free superfoods and adaptogens. I'll have the greens, I'll have the glow, I'll have the red, whatever I feel like having but it just makes consuming all of that water just a little bit easier, a little bit more delicious. And then here I am in the sauna, detoxing, feeling good, you know, setting my intentions for the day, being in gratitude, doing the lymphatic drainage, the gua sha, knowing that I'm doing something good for myself. And it is fun when you can sauna with a friend or a loved one. Um, do make sure you rinse off your bathing suits really well afterwards when you're in the shower. That, that rinse off piece is so key. And I do just want to add that for those of you tuning in, this is not medical information. This is educational information only. If you think you have a medical condition, you must seek the guidance of a licensed physician. I will say that in my research of sauna technologies, you guys have the most research behind mm -hmm. your tech. Uh, so that speaks volumes. Do you Thank have any, you. Closing, any closing words or thoughts or anything that's coming up that listeners should really know about how saunaing can support their detoxification journey, help their skin look better, any sort of tips and tricks to share with everyone today? Um, I have two probably that we haven't talked about. Uh, one would be my favorite habit stacking, uh, which I, I, you know, I, I really believe that when you're inside, you know, your sunlight and what a great opportunity to add in another healthy habit while you're in there. There's not a lot of wellness tools 
and wellness experiences where you can stack on something else while you're doing it. You know, it's just like when I go for a run, I mean, yes, you can listen to music, but there's just not a lot of other, other, I, you know, I wish I could run and sauna at the same time. I mean, I guess I could run and sauna, but, you know, I mean, I like to be super efficient and being in there and um, just clearing up the mind through the technology, right? So the technology is going to help you get mental clarity, lighten your mind. It will also be inspired and become more creative. So then wait. So because of that, what do you want to do with that? Why do you want to meditate? Do you want to journal? Do you want to, you know, do you want to write a blog? Do you, you want to write, you know, something to, you know, somebody else, you know, and share your, your, your feelings. So that's a great opportunity stretching because your body already, you know, becomes so much looser and um, it's great. The infrared wavelength at muscle recovery and reducing inflammation. So it allows you the opportunity to, get longer, you know, and more flexible while you're in there. Um, you know, do, oh, breath work. I do a lot of breath work, you know, which is just so great, you know, yoga. So, so habit stacking is one of my great tips. Um, oh, I, I have three. I just remembered another one. Um, my other one that has worked really, really well is um, to get in, even if you only have, let's just say 10 minutes, a lot of people don't get started or stop because they feel like they have to do the 30 or 40 minutes and then they beat themselves up for not doing that and then that delays the next day it's like i just can't find the time so if you can't find 40 minutes that's okay it's completely okay do five do ten just commit to getting in and having that experience, trust me when I say it will make a huge difference in the way you feel internally. It, the wavelengths are very, very powerful. And even if you're just, if you're doing the solo by itself, which is the far infrared alone, it's five minutes in that you, you'll, you'll figure out how to get more later. Like I mark my word. So um, that's a, it's a massive, massive hack at getting this into your um, lifestyle is starting very, very you know, small and with no expectations and just letting you know, your schedule dictate how to get more saunaing longer later. Um, and the third is getting more into the science because we talked about near and red, but I wanted to just clarify um, one thing and that is, so near infrared is the invisible part, and we have mastered the delivery of the precise wavelength to penetrate the deepest into the skin for anti-aging, for the optimal skin repair. So that's what the invisible part does. Then the red light, the only really huge, massive difference between the two, and there's just, I feel like there's some confusion. It made me think of it when you talked about the red film, which just, ugh, like it just, it's hard for me to even hear that people do stuff like that. So don't get those cheap devices. It's just a waste. Anyway, um, so red um, operates very similar to near. It just isn't go as deep. That's the difference between the two. One's in the visible part of the spectrum. One's in the invisible part. The invisible part is what makes it go so deep, which is just why we started 2010 is when we brought impulse. So what is that? 13 years ago. That's what we started with the invisible part of the spectrum because we were working with dermatologists and um, on what is the most powerful penetrative um, wavelength. And now we've added red because there's data showing that you combine the two because if you just kind of picture you're going one, you know, like two centimeters, one, five centimeters, you're reducing oxidative stress. But when you put the two together, you deliver a more effective um, result. And so that's the, the power of, of having, you know, the two together. It's also the difference. I'm pointing out the difference because sometimes people are like, oh, red light is better or invisible light is better. It's like, there's, it's not about better. It, you know, it's, it, the difference is how deep that they penetrate the skin. I love that you mentioned habit stacking. Uh, I'm going to share a couple behind the scenes things that I love to do in the sauna. Obviously stretching, yoga and doing the gua sha with the tool if you don't have a gua sha tool use a mason jar lid 
and go over your thighs, your abdomen, your arms, get that lymph moving. In fact, for targeting things like cellulite, it's actually about being consistent and it's about consistently smoothing out that fascia and that fascia is more pliable when the body's warmed up. So being in the sauna is the best time to look at addressing cellulite as well as bloating to the abdomen. Doing lymphatic drainage to the bloating is a great way to move excess fluid. One of the other things that I do like to do in the sauna is a quick dermal rolling session. So not a full dermal rolling session, but a quick one because the pores are opened. Obviously when I'm doing this, I am washing my face beforehand. I do also like to, with sauna use, you know, shower beforehand, do a hair mask, do some dermal rolling at that point too. Cause I get that question a lot. Can I do dermal rolling in the sauna? Yes, you definitely can. Uh, you do just want to read your skin if it's getting a little too sensitive. It might just be something to warm up to. I wouldn't do your first normal rolling session in the sauna. I would maybe integrate it a couple months in. Now, one of the things I do recommend about saunaing is to have your own. And the reason I mention this is I'm not a huge fan of detoxing where other people are detoxing. If financially that's just out of the equation, sure, it's going to be better than nothing. But if you can get your own, then you can be really conscious to clean it up really well afterwards so you can wipe everything down. So you do want to catch those drips um, so they don't stay in the wood and things like that. Just to keep your sauna as clean as possible, get as much longevity out of it as you can. And at Sunlight, you have so many options for different sizes, portability, price points. So for any of you considering, you know, what is the best sauna on the market? Well, Sunlighten has been around, you know, the longest, right? And so I'm really excited to have Connie here on the show. I've had Sunlight on my biohacking favorites page for many years. So if you're considering getting a sauna, head on over to theschoolofradiance.com. Check out my biohacking page. Again, Sunlight has been there for years and there's a reason for that. Sunlight makes excellent high quality sauna use, saunas that are incorporating really key elements of technology. So thank you so much, Connie, and your whole team at Sunlight for your constant dedication to making great high quality products made to order, keeping that standard there, including technologies that are also enhancing the benefits as well. So thank you so much for being on the show. And I'm I look so forward to you. having you back on as well. Well, thank you. I do want to mention that um, if people go over to the School of Radiance and, and they do come to Sunlighten through you, then we are offering a discount. So make sure if you come to Sunlighten, whether if you call or you go through um, the School of Radiance, that you mention Rachel and uh, that will enable you to get the discount. So it's really important um, that you, you let us know where you heard and we'll take care of you from there and we look forward to working with you know each and every one of you and um look forward to serve you and getting you on your journey thank you very much for extending that generosity to help out listeners so it pays to listen um, <laughs> right here on the school of radiance podcast thank you everyone for tuning in and again it's taking action every single day and being consistent in your body, mind, spirit, energy practices, detoxing your environment with your air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, clearing out excess pathogens, as well as uh, different toxins, right? Mold, heavy metals, pesticides. So this is really where the saunaing comes into play as really that final piece of detoxification. Once you've cleaned up your environment, you're using non-toxic skincare and all of that. So to learn more, head on over to the school of radiance.com and share this episode with a friend or a family member, as this is a great high value interview with you, Connie, to answer some of my specific questions that I had about saunaing and some frequently asked questions as well. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you again soon, right here on the school of radiance podcast.